That tees it up nicely. We're all set to get things tipped off. And we are underway. Wake Forest gets the opening tip. Cook's challenge is going to be how will he play against the bigs of Wake Forest. Carr being 16, Matthew Marsh being 71. And a chance at a three-point play. She talks about Carr, he's long at 16, goes inside, is able to get the score there. And the potential that he has to be a star for this Fairfield team. Meanwhile, Taylor, Appleby, Williamson, Carr, and Bradford, you see there the five. And here's Carr again with a hammer. He, he used to play at Syracuse, hit a game winner at Syracuse against the Demon Deacons back in 2020. Carr roughs his way through the lane and drops it in. Now Andrew Carr will check out. And in favor of Matthew Marsh, the sophomore. And there's Supreme Cook's first bucket. Nicely inside rub that time. Cook again. Going through him. Goodine thought about the three. Back to Cook. A step against Marsh. Goes underneath him and then over the top for the slam. He told you he could do damage. Fairfield within a point. Here's Bryson Goodine. Rips the bottom of the net and gets the whistle. A chance at a four-point play but not really had the chance so far to get the ball down the court in transition. Here's Supreme Cook again. Little baby hook. That yeah. was smooth. It drops in to give him eight. That's too easy. If he brought the double team, he's going to kick it to Willis from the three. Pump fake for Hildreth. Nice find the opposite corner, and the three rips the net. Deeks were looking for Carr again. Extra ball down to Williamson, who gets it from the corner. Williamson with the quick release finally got a really clean look at the basket. Hometown guy from Winston-Salem on the defense there. So again, you know, you are talking about didn't really find his really spot to score. Yeah, that's a good basket. So Godine can start going back to his old form. I like when Hildreth is active. Made a good pass a moment ago, gets a basket there. Frees up some space, and T.J. Long hits the three. Lucas Taylor able to reel it in and get it to Hildreth. Back to Taylor. The three is through. Williamson has driven into paint and had somebody from the backside come up and block the shot. Pass in, and it's banked in for the Wake Forest bucket. Uh, what Supreme Cook has been able to do inside, keeping balls a lot. This is a good matchup right here. Cook tries to spin it, spin off of Bradford and puts it in off the glass. Yeah, Bradford wanted to be careful. Cook hands off. Gene Rose in traffic, hesitates and weaves his way through for the bucket. Now back to the basket, hop into the lane. Nobody else there with him. Somehow got the shot off and cleans it up himself. Every team's got to have a Cam Hildreth on the team. Fields penetrates, has it ripped away. Williamson blocked and pulls back the reins. Nice job. Great block on one end, solid play on the rebound. Catch and fire. Oh. Free and rattles through. Clinton. Appleby a cut. Nifty dish. Williamson can't hit the three. Appleby pulled after he got the high screen. Offensive board and the slam for Andrew Carr. Ojik thought about another three. Drew the double team. Nifty move after the pass by Maida. Here's Carr. A little head fake. Works his way into the paint and just bullies his way to another bucket. Exactly. Out of the season. Knock it down a three. Had 17 in his previous school. I think he's going to be a guy that can stretch the floor a lot of ways. So can that guy. Supreme Cook muscles it up and in. Pass was tipped but pulled in. Gene Rose against Keller. Shields uh, pulls it in with one second to shoot and buries at the shot clock. Logic drew the extra attention and lost his handle. Numbers for Wake Forest. A lob. Clinton downs it. Carr double to the basket. Has it poked away and stolen. 
Mido finds Long in the corner here. There he goes. His but second made three. He, he needs some weight. I mean, he just needs to get a little more time to mature as a basketball player. Good ball movement. Yeah. And TJ Long with two consecutive makes from three point range. Tries to go inside. Great defense. Keller swallowed it up. Talk about that lint. Talk about being able to play with his feet. Appleby. Keller for three. Yeah. There it is. Excellent sequence for him. Long. High Ooh. off the glass. <laughs> Caleb Fields off the mark on the three. He gets a second chance and it falls. Second chance opportunity. Fields against Appleby. Now they go inside. Here's Willis with the left. Started one way. Started in the middle of four. Drop step goes inside. And the rebound goes to Fairfield. Let the ball go inside first if you're Fairfield. Make them work. Field dribbles around his man and buries the long two. Let's see if they if Carr gets a touch. Or Williamson. Those are the guys I'd want to touch it right now. Carr immediately gives it back to Hildreth, puts up the floater, and it rattles through. Great recognition by Hill. Fields open look. Too strong, but an offensive rebound. Won't you? Hesitates, but banks it in. Hildreth. Tough bucket. 12 points for him now. For easy steals. Supreme Cook, number five in red, back in for Fairfield. He's working with four personal fouls. Fields, the step back. Oh! He's just done some smart things. Some big shots as the Stags are trying to stay in this. Appleby to the rack. There's that speed. You see him turn the corner. Rebounded. That's Bobby Clintman. Nice job by the freshman. Hildreth, extra pass. Williamson gets it for three. From what the a court. smart play by Clintman to get the rebound. We'll see, but I think you keep your eyes open if you're if you're watching basketball. Fairfield's going to be a team to keep your record. With. There you go. Up to a 12-point lead again for Wake Forest, and they take over possession. As the buzzer sounds, a consolation dunk.